Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Cutting Dixon's on the hooks. I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's what I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's the C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one. Here we go. We started from the bottom, now we Well, that guy, if you teamed up with that guy, you know, boop, 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 hey, yeah, and he just makes it happen. So, the, but the thing people don't realize is that down here, these habits are what are separating people. It's not, it's not birthright, it's, it's habits. And so, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure that we're super prepared. All this stuff is ready to go before we even begin to reach out to, for team. One guy I talked to uh, just this weekend. He has a great idea. And he says, I got a great idea. And I love Thrive. And I feel like if I could just get funding, it'll help me. I, I can do it. And I, I try to explain to him. I, I, I said as nicely as I can. I said, hey, when I was 21, there's no way in hell I would have lent myself money. Because I was a jackass. I never got up early. I didn't know how to make to-do lists. I couldn't, I didn't have stuff together. I wasn't organized. And so if I would have lent myself money, I would definitely have wasted it all. And you're going to have to build up your profile, so to speak, before you even want to start calling people. And he says, well, why? I said, listen, I'm telling you, you want reviews, you want social media, you want all these things together before you even start calling teammates. Because if not, you're going to get no's. Uh, another example. On our Thrive team, we have a guy by the name of Clifton Talbert. Have you seen Clifton's yes. stuff? Okay. Clifton has told me no numerous times for business ventures. You know? Where he's like, nope. Well, why? Because I wasn't mature enough to be in the same conversations with him. You know? So here's a guy who's grown up in poverty. He's a diligent reader. He's well-read. He's studied. He's excellent in so many different areas. And I, I wasn't prepared, I wasn't diligent, I wasn't the kind of guy he would want to partner with. Because your reputation, you know, Warren Buffett says you can lose your reputation. Reputation takes years to build, but you can lose it in just a few seconds. And so these guys, I just want to make sure as we're going for the team, don't go for the teammates until you feel like you've got this stuff done. Cool? Cool. So now let's talk about the, uh, the, the team you're going to go for. Homework for you. I need you to make a list of 10 10 minimum, but I would say 50 team members that you want. Make a list of 50 team members that you want, and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to systematically get rejected while trying to seek appointments until you get an audience with maybe two or three of them. Does that make sense? It makes complete sense. So what we're gonna do real quick Systematically is... Systematically rejected. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool, so now let's get into this team thing. This is specifically how I would go after the team. First is I would go ahead and make a spreadsheet and I would put their name right here. In the next field, I would go ahead and put the name of their company I would put what you want from the person. I would put why you want this person on your team. And then I would put their contact info. Yeah, I saw your boards. Yes. Upstairs. Oh Mar yeah. Marshall gave me a thorough tour. He is a. Uh, and I was very impressed with the boards. Well, the boards are what. It's what works. And then I'm going to put the steps. So let's go through this real quick. So the first thing is the name. 
You gotta make a list of at least 50. I'm a huge fan of the Dream 100, which is from Chet Holmes' book, which is uh, uh, the book that's right behind you on the wall there to your left, but it's called The Ultimate Sales Machine. And that's I would, the book you gave me. Yep, this thing is sick. The Dream 100, that's what you want. Did you okay? sign that one? I have not signed it, but I will. I will do it, I promise you. And the thing about Chet Holmes, is that people overcomplicate this. And I'm just telling you, you've got to get rejected enough, and you know this as a business consultant, you got to get rejected enough to get a yes. So we're going to do it. I'm just making up an example. Failure we'll, is always an option. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put down here, uh, Jim is our first guy, John is our second guy, Ed is our third guy, Molly is our fourth human, and we'll put Sarah all the way down till we have 100 up. What's the company? Well, Jim is with, you know, ABC Capital. John is with, uh, uh, he owns a nursing home. Ed is, we'll just say Ed's a billionaire. Somehow we know this guy is a billionaire. Molly used to play in the WNBA. Sarah is an actress. Well, what do we want from him? Well, Jim, we want money. John, we want connections. Ed, we want money. And we want wisdom. We want them to be on the board. We want them to invest. And we want them to help. Now, Molly, what we want is we want an endorsement because she used to be the WNBA, and for some reason we feel like that's a good connection. And then Sarah, we want an endorsement because she's also a celebrity, and we feel like these are things we want. Well, why do we want them? So we begin to say, well, why would I want you? You want to tell Jim when you're on the phone with Jim, well, Jim, why would I want you? And you say, well, Jim, I want you because of your history with nursing homes, you know? Uh, John, why do I want to work with you? Well, I mean, you know, I, I know of you through a referral, and I've heard great things, and I love your reputation, you know, etc. Then we want the contacts. Okay, what's your phone number? This is going to be, you know, your phone number and your email. And then the steps. We need to have step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let me walk you through this little, little uh, diagram. This is what's going to happen. Every single one of these persons, step one, we're going to contact them in some capacity. And this step is going to annoy them. Because they don't want to be called from you because they don't know who you are. Now the next step, so we start off, we always start off with the annoyance. Now the next step after we annoy them is we're going to get this step two here, which is curiosity. Now they're going to go, well, who is this guy? He's contacted me twice. Then the step three. We're going to have to get them to like us. All right? Step number four. We're wanting to get them to, to trust us. And five... We want to be doing business with them. And then all these other steps that we do. Doing business in what capacity? It's a good point. Um, yes, you kind of like glazed over that one. Yeah, well, let that, me help you on this. I really, really wanted Paul Pressy to be a partner with Thrive. He's coaches for the Lakers. Super cool guy. Had a just a hell of a life growing up. Uh, he's chosen to be a good guy. There's every reason in the world he shouldn't be a good guy. He's a great coach, a great mentor, a good guy. Really wanted him on Thrive. He's a coach for the Lakers, though. Before that, he was coaching with uh, the, the Celtics. I mean, he's been in the NBA for, I think he played for 13 seasons. You know, he's, there's no reason he should return my call. You know what I mean? So I have to first reach out to him and say, well, hey. And now the thing is, you're going to have to reach out to 100 at the same time. That's why we have to have step one defined for all of them. So in my mind, step one is a handwritten note with a gift. That's what I would do. I'd send them all. So in your business, with the helping hand, 
I would go ahead and send them all like a Godiva chocolate in the mail, a little box, and I would include a, a handwritten note, you know, where it's printed but you sign part of it, and I would say, at Helping hand, Hands, we believe that, that every, we believe that everyone deserves a helping hand with a touch of class. Please accept my gift of this Godiva chocolate, and uh, I look forward to connecting with you soon. And so they're just, I mean, imagine that you got this in the mail today. If I got a Godiva chocolate box in the mail today, what would I do? Well, yeah. oh, I got a, well, I got a sleigh in the mail. I got a sleigh on my desk. It's like a Santa sleigh with like a bunch of chocolates in it. So step one is it's like, well, I'm going to eat it. And then I'm going to read this little card, you know? So you're reading the card, you're eating it, or you might throw it away. Bah, I'm busy. Next week, I and mean, each step happens a different week, by the way. So it's that in the week, so all hundred of them get reached every week. I want to make sure we're clear. Every week, so what you do is you do each step times ten weeks. Cool. So what you do is every week all hundred people get contacted. If that makes sense. It does. Then week two, we do the same thing. Maybe we drop off the exact same Godiva again, saying, we really do believe that everyone deserves touch class. Hope you enjoy these other chocolates. I look forward to meeting you soon. Week three, same thing. At this point, I went from like, who is this guy? To I'm kind of curious who this guy is, right? Now, right about week two or three, what would you do if somebody mailed you chocolates two, three consecutive weeks? Let's pretend that you are high up the food chain. You're very busy. What would you do? I'd be curious. So what would you do if you're curious? I'm not sure. See, for me, I would go to your website. Not everybody would, but I would. And I find that a lot of people do, by the way. So they go up to your website. And remember, we talked about this. If your website looks awesome, how good are we going to feel if they go to the website? Very good. We're feeling good. Oh, baby, here they come. Step four, we call them. We want to set an appointment. Cool? So here's my call. And you want to script it so you say the same thing every time. We're building a duplicable system here. So I'd say, boop, 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 boop. Hi, is Jim there? Uh, no, Mr. Smith's in a meeting. Can I tell him who called? Yeah, this is Clay Clark. I'm the guy who sent some Godiva chocolates the last three, four weeks in a row. And I wanted to see if I could request a meeting with him for 15 minutes. If the meeting goes bad, he can kick me out. Now, uh, what's this meeting in regards to? Um, I've got a really, really nice business opportunity for him to make some good money. And like I said, if it's, uh, you know, if it's not, not good, he can kick me out in 15 minutes. You'd be surprised the people that I've got a chance to meet in my lifetime just doing these little games. <laughs> so, um, well, like David Green, he started Hobby Lobby. He's a, a billionaire. He got a chance to uh, spend an entire day with David Green. Um, Really awesome guy, by the way, just awesome. Uh, I've got a chance to, to spend time with George Foreman. I've got a chance to uh, uh, spend, you know, three days with uh, David Robinson. Uh, I've got a chance to, you know, meet Paul Pressey. Our guy's got a chance to go see, uh, you know, got a chance to go, you know, places you shouldn't be, you know, where the guy's got, the camera guy's got a chance to see Chris Paul and meet Jeremy Lin and, you know, all these different NBA players. Um, and I can go on and on with investors and capital partners and just, Endless people in my lifetime I've met through the same thing. I met the guy who's the CEO of Quick Trip. It's the big convenience store chain, one of the most profitable ones in the country. And this is all from chocolates. Uh, well, this uh, it, this this fundamental fundamental principle. This fundamental principle. What? But you use the chocolates. Uh, well, the chocolates are each time I do it's different. So I have literally sent a cookie cake with my face on it to Tim Tebow. True story. I did not get a response. So Tim, if you're watching, you know you know. But anyway, so the, the thing is, like, you, but you just do it, and you, you have to be systematic about it, because otherwise you, you won't live long enough to meet these people. We've got we to go faster. We've got to get 100 of them on a list, and in the next 10 weeks, we want to get meetings with these people. The Dream 100. I'm writing this down on this board, because I'm going to be very much aware of how much it costs to do this. I believe that this system probably will cost about 1000 bucks to execute over a period of you know, 10 weeks. That's not bad at all. No, and you'll get meetings. I mean, this is, this is all very reasonably priced. 
And you'll get, you'll get a meeting with some of them. And I'm telling you, but when you do, you want to script it out. Remember, you script it out. So, you're, I mean, literally, you're going to write a script and you'll say, hey, is blank there? Why? Because you want to follow the same system every time. Is blank there? Question mark. Yeah, this is his assistant. How can I help you? What? What? See, what? What do you want from this person? I wanted to meet with Mr. Johnson about uh, venture capital investment. Well, can I tell him why or what's in regards to? Yeah, um, he's got a rich history in the nursing industry. My company is called Helping Hands. I just feel like I've spent 15 minutes with the man. I could add a ton of value to his life. If it's not good, you kick me out of here. Now, what I have found is that right after you meet, so step four is kind of when you're pursuing the meeting. Step five is when now it's like you share with him your, your it's called a pitch deck or your business plan, your, your documents we've already built, all this stuff, you show them. Yes, I've seen that. So from the Pitch Hacks book, follow that business plan system, show it to them. It's like the 10, 10, pitch, 10 page or? Yeah, it's a, it's a, basically it's a 10, 10 slide. Slide, uh, that's it. Yeah, and so it's basically a, a pitch deck is like a, a PowerPoint presentation with 10 points that you show them. But you want to show it to them and show them how it's a win for him. So you're trying to do is when you meet this person, you're trying to create a win-win. So when you asked me, how are you doing business with them? David, to answer it as succinctly as possible, I don't know, but you will because you wrote down what you want from them and why you want, you know. So with David Robinson, what do I want from David? David's one of the most high integrity people over his entire career. You know, it's not like a guy who was drifting and then made a bunch of good decisions and went on drugs again and then, I mean, David, been an upstanding citizen with the Naval Academy, won two Olympic medals, then won two NBA championships, then in a time of his career where he probably could play a few more years, he decides to start a school for inner city kids that can't afford it, and then he starts a, 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 an investment fund that's worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, and all he wants to do is give back and help people, which is awesome, you know? So like with David, when I meet with David, what do you want from me? That's the question. What do you want? Like, I want to help mentor millions and I feel like that your leadership stories are things and your your principles and your integrity and, and your your plans and your everyone needs to have that. And I really feel like you would help people. Well, I did my research and I knew that's what he was all about. So he loved the idea of helping people and giving back. Now Yeah, he does the purpose things. Yeah. So you want to think about this. Now the thing is after you ask him to do the thing. Most people, they use people. So most people use people instead of having a friendship. So I have a decision that once David participated in Thrive, and, and you know he's an equity partner, and he's been just generous and great in a lot of things, but I could probably never talk to him again, right? Unless I need something. Or I can go out of my way to consistently add value and to be positive and to encourage and to send things. What do you send a guy worth 300 million bucks? I mean... You know, uh, you know I, I, I give them updates. I stay in touch. I try to add value. I try to connect them with things. If I know there's things I can add value to help him, I'll do it. You know, that kind of thing. So you want to build a friendship. So at the end of this, if you carry out these 100, this is what's going to happen. Your Dream 100 will start like this. And you're going to end with probably five people in here that want to partner with you. Of those 100. So you start with 100, and you narrow it down to those five. Does that make sense? It does. So you're going to end up with five people that are going to want to be on your team. And you'd better know what you're going to offer them and why you want them on the team when you get there. You know? So uh, Dr. Z, why in the world would I want Robert Zellner to be the CEO of Thrive? He's like the owner of the most successful auto auction in Oklahoma. He's the owner of the most successful optometry clinic in Oklahoma. He's partners with one of the most successful chiropractic centers in Tulsa. He uh, uh, owns a lot of a bank, very successful as a bank investor. I go on and on and on, but he's a high character dude. And he's high energy, he appreciates humor, he loves mentorship, I mean, that's why. So, why? Z, I know you love Mentorship, I know you love business, I know you love helping people, I would love to help. Well, what do you want from me, he says, what do you want? 
Well, I want you to be an equity partner. I want you to put in money with me. Guardrails is, you know, when I put in money, you'll put in money too, you know what I mean? So you're the guardrails, you know that I'm, you know, it's not all your money and me just being an idiot. It's I'm putting in money, you're putting very transparent, you know, what I'm putting in and how I'm investing. Well, why me? Why me, they say, every time. Why me? You always get this, Dave. Why, why me, they'll always say. Why me? Why, why do you want me? I mean, of all the people, why do you want me? Well, Mr. Levine, that's the guy who's the uh, uh, originator of the Tiffany theory, the top publicist in the world, and he's a new Thrive mentor. Why? Because you're the top PR guy in the world. You've been the PR guy for Michael Jackson, for Prince, for Bill Clinton, for George Bush, for uh, you know Nike, for Pizza Hut, for, uh, 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 you know, I can go on and on. The people in the world, the thrivers, need to be able, they deserve to pay 50 bucks a month and to be able to have access to you. That's why. Well, what's in it for me, they ask. Well, what's in it is you can give back, you can help people, and also we'll pay you, or you can get a percentage, or you can be an equity guy, whatever the deal is, whatever you're offering. So when you say, well, what are they doing? I don't know yet. That's up to you. But let's look at this real quick. If you did, think of the people right now off the top of your head that are kind of like the teammates you'd like to have. What would it be worth, just as an example, what would it be worth to this, to this business helping hands if you landed, let's say, again, just Bloomberg as an example? Or Giuliani, two guys. I mean, if Giuliani was the guy who was, would you even have to market? I understand your point. You know? So that's why we want to, Get that. So is that making sense? It does. So now the good thing about this is this system here I just showed you is the same system as we would use for PR and the same system for your Dream 100 for marketing. So if you wanted to go after the homeowners associations for wealthy neighborhoods that are located within Richfield and different neighborhoods where people are from that can afford your services. All you do again is make the name of the homeowners association. I'm out of paper here. Oh hey, Take let's notes. give you some more paper. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. You want to put the name of the homeowners association? You'd want to put the person there, you want to put the name of the association, the name of the person there. What do you want? He'd say, well helping hands, we help people who are your parents. And I'd like to come make a presentation at your next HOA. Why us? Well, because you guys live in the Hamptons and you can afford it. What do you do? Probably go back to the Godiva move. <laughs> I mean, you know? I mean, because remember, people's first impression that only happens one time. So if they get a piece of mail, they get something in the mail. Imagine you're the head of the Homeowners Association. You get something in the mail from this guy who says he wants to help take care of your mom and your dad. It's Godiva, you go to his site, you look it up, you're like, man, this guy's legit. Of course he can meet. What do you want, Dave? Well, I just want to meet with you for 15 minutes, share with you what I do. If it's not worth it, you can kick me out. I mean, this is the move. And it works over and over and over and over and over. How many times have you made it more than 15 minutes? The meetings? Yes. Oh, yeah, I mean. How many times did you make it less than 15 minutes? Well, I don't want to give you any type of BS numbers, but I'll just tell you anecdotally what I can remember. Uh, I met with Chet Kajo. In my book, Make Your Life Epic, I write about this. It's called Breakfast with Chet. And Chet, um, I asked to meet him, and I want to say it was like at 7 a.m. I was meeting him. Maybe 7 or 8, something like that. And we met, and I think it was an hour into it. He was still sharing with me a bunch of insights. And the stuff that he told me to read, by the way, which I want to impart to you, um, The Service Profit Chain, which is the book, uh, Harvard Case Study, Service Profit Chain, and The Value Profit Chain. He says, you know, Quick Trip is this big, scalable, replicatable. It's one of the best places to work in the Midwest. It's one of the most profitable convenience stores. It's like a Disneyland of gas stations. People are always asking, well, how is it so clean? How is it so good? What we do is in these two books, you need to read these two books. So I was a guy that, I mean, spent hours, you know, um, with uh, Paul Pressey, you know, spent uh, hours with Paul, hours with Paul, really neat stuff. Um, with uh, one gentleman, 
um, whose name I shall not mention. I got a 15 minute meeting at a nice restaurant and I met him and the meeting was supposed to start, I don't remember what time, supposed to start at a certain time. He got there about an hour after he's supposed to be there and the entire time he wasn't um, attentive, didn't want to be there, you could tell. And so I finally had to be like, hey, um, I know you're really busy, you got a lot of stuff going on. I just asked if I could get 10 minutes of undivided attention I want to share with you about how I think this can help you. And if it's a win-win, you'll get his attention. And he was like, well, how, how can I make some money on this? What's, what's, what's my win here? I get into it. I share it with him real quickly. He was like, so what do you want from me? And I said, I want X, this amount of dollars I need. Why do you want them? He says, I'm not interested. Over. So I've had stuff like that. I mean, I've had it. But all I can say is if you'll increase, um, Thomas Watson, the former CEO of IBM, says if you'll double your rate of failure, you'll increase your level of success. And Marsh, you can find the actual quote there. But it, it's, you want to double that rate of failure. And so all I can say is the Dream 100 is the most pragmatic way, at, that's way to do it. And it's a laser beam focus. Is that cool? That is cool. So do you feel like you know what to do with the team? Yes. That part I got. The Dream List, I definitely have that. But don't do it until you have these things first. Now, we're gonna go down here to this marketing concept. Because again, we talked about when are you gonna do it, and you said seven o'clock until nine, I think? Yes. Okay. Because what's gonna happen is, now I'm just gonna show this to you real quick here. Currently, let's say this is how much you make represented by this bar, and this is your active income from your current job. At some point, This is a sweet deal. This is your business This is your business income. So at some point your business is costing you negative $4500 so far. I mean so far we've already spent $4500 and really, we've spent, and we talked about this, this is in four weeks, and we spent 10 on our Dream 100 once this happens. So right now, we've spent $4,500, and we've spent 14 weeks. That might be nice if I could write in a standard English font. Okay. So we've spent 14 weeks of your time, and we've spent $4,500, and we haven't made a single dime yet. And so at some point, we want, obviously, this number to creep up. And whenever this number is about 70% of this, so once your business income gets to about 70% of your active income, this is when you have to go, yep, yep. Okay, you're going to look down and you go, oh boy, this is, you know, this is a little... <laughs> a little crazy here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I think I got it. And you, you just have to sort of jump. Yeah, poof. And you've got to make that leap or the jump. You somehow have to take the... And when you take the jump, it's going to be out of an income into the business income. And most business owners that I meet who've, who've failed, most people who've struggled, they've usually jumped. This is, to me, this is like... If this is a building, you know, this might be a 25 foot tall building. And this building here is 20 feet tall. I mean, jumping five feet down is painful. If I climb up to the top of the ceiling and I just jump down and I try to land right, it's gonna hurt. I mean, I'm not gonna kill myself probably, but if I you know, jump down 10 feet, it's pretty rough. The NBA players, there was an article uh, written a while back with one of the NBA Hall of Famers, and they asked the guy, they said, uh, well, you know, why'd you retire? And he's like, oh, well, you know, I can still jump, it's just the landing that hurts. You know, it's like, the thing is, is that when you jump, you can, you can jump five feet and you're not going to kill yourself. But if you jump 25 feet, you're probably going to break something. And so what we want to do is build up your business income high enough so that jump is not super painful. It's going to hurt. For sure, but it's not going to kill you. I hope that makes sense. No, it's very reasonable. So we want to. So we have five to, or seven. Is that to before nine. or after taxes? Um, 
Well, I would, I would say I would just apples to apples. I would replace your income, um, you know, so that you know at the end of the day after taxes, you've got what you, 70% of what you have now. JT, do you know what time it is? Um, 410. It's it's Tebow time in Tulsa, oh. Jerusalem, baby. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma, June 27th and 28th. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since 2005. I've been hosting business conferences since, since 2005. What year were you born? Uh, 1995. Dude, I've been hosting business conferences since you were 10 years old, but I've never had to the two-time Heisman Award winning Tim Tebow come present. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field. Uh, and off the field and off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Mm, well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just no. saying Tip Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Also, this is the first uh, Thrive Time show event that we've had where we're going to have a man who has built a $100 million net worth. Wow. He'll be presenting. Now, we've had a couple presenters that um, have had a billion dollar net worth mm. um, in some like real estate sort of things. Yeah. But this is the first time we've had a guy who's built a service business and he's built over a hundred million dollar net worth in the service business it's the yacht driving uh multi-state living guru of franchising peter taunted will be in the house this is the founder of snap fitness the guy behind nine round boxing he's going to be here in tulsa Jerusalem, tulsa Jerusalem, oklahoma june 27th and 28th jt why should everybody want to hear what peter taunton has to say oh because he's incredible he's just a fountain of knowledge he is awesome he has uh inspired me listening to him talk and not only that he also has uh he practices what he teaches so he's a real teacher he's not a fake teacher like business school teachers so you got to come learn from him also let me tell you this folks i don't want to get this wrong because if i get it wrong um someone's gonna say you screwed that up buddy so michael <laughs> levine this is michael levine he's gonna be coming you say Who, who's michael levine i, I don't get this wrong this is the pr consultant of choice for michael jackson wow. for prince wow. for nike for mm. charlton heston for nancy mm. kerrigan 34 grammy award winners 43 new york times best-selling authors he's represented including pretty much everybody you know who's been a super celebrity this is michael levine a good friend of mine he's going to come and talk to you about personal branding and the mindset needed to be super successful the lineup will continue to grow we have hit christian recording artist Colton Dixon in the house. Now, people say, Colton Dixon's in the house? Yes, Colton Dixon's in the house. So if you like top 40 Christian music, Colton Dixon's going to be in the house performing. The lineup will continue to grow each and every day. We're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup. But I encourage everybody out there today, get those tickets today. Go to thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. And some people might be saying, well, how do I do it? What do I do? How does it work? You just go to thrivetimeshow.com. Let's go there now. We're feeling the flow. We're going to thrivetimeshow.com. Thrivetimeshow.com. Again, you just go to thrivetimeshow.com. You click on the business conferences button and you click on the request tickets button right there. Uh, the way I do our conferences is we tell people it's $250 to get a ticket yep, or whatever price that you can afford. And the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? No, I did not. Nope. Did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it. And I uh, am super grateful. I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Taunton. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, when's it going to be? June 27th and 28th. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. So it says Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed so when june 27th to 28th who you you're going to come who you I, I, i'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again 
You can name your price. We tell people it's $250 or whatever price you can afford. And we do have some select VIP tickets, which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things. And those tickets are $500. It's a two-day interactive business workshop, over 20 hours of business training. We're going to give you a copy of my newest book, The Millionaire's Guide to Becoming Sustainably Rich. You're going to leave with a workbook. You're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company. It's practical. It's actionable. And it's Tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine, and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars, and I've worked with a lot of major companies. And I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California, in the beautiful sunny weather of LA, come to Tulsa? Because last year I did it and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation, really life-changing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine. I'll see you in Tulsa. James, did I tell you my good friend John Lee Dumas is also joining us at the in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show Business Workshop? That Tim Tebow and that uh, Michael Levine will be at. Have I told you this? You have not told me that. Oh, he's coming all the way from Puerto Rico. This is John Lee Dumas, the host of the Chart Topping EOFire.com podcast. He's absolutely a living legend. This guy started a podcast after uh, uh, wrapping up his service in the United States military, and he started recording this podcast daily in his home to the point where he started interviewing big time folks like Gary Vaynerchuk, like Tony Robbins, and he just kept interviewing bigger and bigger names, putting out shows day after day. And now he is the legendary host of the EO Fire podcast, and he's traveling all the way from Puerto Rico to Tulsa, Oklahoma to attend the in-person June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop. If you're out there today, folks, you've ever wanted to grow a podcast, a broadcast, you want to get an, you want to improve your marketing. If you've ever wanted to improve your marketing, your branding, if you've ever wanted to increase your sales, you want to come to the two-day interactive June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show business workshop featuring Tim Tebow, Michael Levine, John Lee Dumas, and countless big-time super successful entrepreneurs. It's going to be life-changing. Get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com. James, what website is that? thrivetimeshow.com. James, one more time before enthusiasm. thrivetimeshow.com. Everything rides on tonight Even if I got three strikes I'ma go for it This moment we own it eh? I'm not to be played with Because it could get dangerous See these people I ride with This moment we own it Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. 
And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying. And I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses? Or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you, and we're excited to see you. And now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're closed, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing but I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who is my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say? What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, changed my life. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa. Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy. I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I went to a small private liberal arts college and got a degree in business. And I didn't learn anything like they're teaching here. I didn't learn linear workflows. I learned stuff that I'm not using and I haven't been using for the last nine years. So what they're teaching here is actually way better than what I got at business school. And I went what was actually ranked as a very good business school. The linear workflow, the linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place. So the, Having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. 
the, it's invigorating. The walls are super. Um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. Once I saw what they were doing, I knew I had to get here at the conference. This is probably the best conference or seminar I've ever been to in over 30 years in business. You're not bored. You're awake, alive the whole time. It's not pushy. They don't try to sell you a bunch of things. I was looking to learn how to just get control of my life, my schedule, and just get a control of the business. Planning your time, breaking it all down, making time for the, you know, the F6 in your life, and just really implementing it and sticking with the program. It's really lively. He's, they're pretty friendly, uh, helpful, and very welcoming. I attended a conference a couple months back, and it was really the best business conference I've ever attended. At the workshop, I learned a lot about time management. Um, really prioritizing what's the most important. Biggest takeaways are, you know, you want to take a step-by-step -step approach to your business. So whether it's marketing, you know, what are those three marketing tools that you want to use to human resources. Now, some of the most successful people and successful businesses in this town, their owners were here today because they wanted to know more from Clay, and I found that to be kind of fascinating. The most valuable thing that I've learned is diligence. That businesses don't change overnight. It takes time and effort and you got to go through the ups and downs of getting it to where you want to go. He actually gives you the road map out. I was stuck, didn't know what to do and he gave me the road map out step by step. We've set up systems in the business that make my life much easier, allow me some time freedom. Here you can ask any question you want, they guarantee it'll be answered. See, this conference like motivates me and also give me a lot of knowledge and tools. It's up to you to do this. Um, Everybody can do these things. They're, they're stuff that everybody knows, but if you don't do it, nobody else can do it for you. I can see the marketing working, and it, it's just an approach that makes sense. Probably the most notable thing is just the, the income increase that we've had. Everyone's super fun, it's super motivating. Uh, I've been here before, but I'm back again because it motivates me. Your competition's going to come eventually or try to pick up these tactics. So you better, you, if you don't, somebody else will. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. So this is my old van and our old school marketing and this is our old team and by team I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing and this is our new team. We went from 4 to 14 and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. If you decide to not attend the Thrive Time Workshop, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The atmosphere at Clay's office is very lively. You can feel the energy as soon as you walk through the door. And it really got me and my team very excited. If 
if you decide not to come, you're missing out on an opportunity to grow your business, bottom line. Love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense. The SEO optimization, branding, marketing, I've learned more in the last two days than I have the entire four years of college. The most valuable thing that I've learned, marketing is key, uh, marketing is everything. Making sure that you're branded accurately and clearly. How to grow a business using Google reviews and then just how to optimize our name through our website also. Helpful with uh, a lot of marketing, search engine optimization, um, uh, helping us really rank high in Google. The biggest thing I needed to learn was how to build my foundation, how to systemize everything and optimize everything, build my SEO. How to become more organized, uh, more efficient. How to make sure the business is really there to serve me, as opposed to me constantly being there for the business. New ways of advertising my business, as well as recruiting new employees. Group interviews, number one. Uh, before, we felt like we were held hostage by our employees. Group interviews has completely eliminated that because you're able to really find the people that would really be the best fit. Hands on how to hire people, how to deal with human resources, um, a lot about marketing, and overall just how to structure the business, how it works for me, and also then how that can translate into working better for my clients. The most valuable thing I've learned here is time management. I like the one hour of doing your business it is real critical if I'm going to grow and change. Play really teaches you how to navigate through those things and not only find freedom, but find your purpose in your business and find the purposes for all those other people that directly affect your business as well. Everybody. 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 Everyone. Everyone needs to attend the conference because you get an opportunity to see that it's real.